So you're in a new job, you're working with a new team, you're having your first meeting with them. How do you confidently introduce yourself to your new team? That's what we'll talk about in this video. Some people choose to wing it for workplace introductions. They want to appear natural, not like they're reading from a script. But there's only a small group of very talented public speakers who have the ability to do this. And it's probably because they've spent years honing in on their ability to introduce themselves. The rest of us need to have preparation when we introduce ourselves. With preparation comes confidence and the ability to sound clear and succinct when we speak, which is something that many viewers of this channel are keen to learn about. Without putting too much pressure on you, I want to let you know that introductions are your chance to solidify your first impression. They are not the first impression that you make. The very first impression that you make is when you walk into the room before you've even had a chance to speak. Introductions continue the first impression and they can either strengthen it or break it, depending on how you go about it. Generally, when you introduce yourself to a new team, you want to convey four qualities that you are positive, approachable, competent, and confident. And all throughout your self introduction, you should be working to convey these four qualities, starting with your body language. When you introduce yourself to a new team, your body language is incredibly important. The people listening to your introduction will draw a lot of information about you from your body language. Keeping the four qualities I mentioned before in mind, this is how you would convey those four qualities through your body language. First, smile, or at least have a positive expression on your face. This will help show that you intend to be a positive team member and that you're approachable. Some people, when they're nervous, find it hard to smile, which happens often during introductions. And instead, they'll plaster a fake smile on their face, which makes them look even more nervous than probably what they're feeling. The solution to this is to tap into your excitement about getting the new job, tap into your excitement about working with a new team and use this excitement to generate a genuine and a nice smile for the people you are introducing yourself to. Second, you need to think about your eye contact. And when you are introducing yourself, you need to look the people in the eye to show that you are confident and approachable. Don't look down when you are introducing yourself, which often happens or it's tempting for people to do when they are nervous. But looking down will make you look like you don't care about the people you are introducing yourself to. You don't care about your team or you don't care to be in the room at all. Plus, it also detracts from your confidence as a professional. And be careful if you are facing a window when you introduce yourself, because if you are facing a window, the sun can glare into the window and can make you squint or close your eyes. It can prevent you from making good eye contact with the people in the room. So if you are introducing yourself, try to face away from a window or perhaps close the blinds in the room. The third thing you need to think about is your posture and you want to use good posture to make you look confident and approachable. So keep your shoulders back at a comfortable level. Keep your head high to stop you from looking toward the ground. And if you can stand when you introduce yourself, this makes you look like you have confidence, courage and respect for your new team. Whereas if you sit down when you introduce yourself, it could be interpreted that you're lazy or that you don't respect the people you're going to be working with. The fourth thing that you need to think about is your hands. And you're probably wondering, what do you do with your hands when you introduce yourself, especially if you're standing up? I recommend that you either have your hands gently by your side or loosely clasped in front of you. Don't be afraid to move your hands as you speak, because this does help you to appear more natural and approachable. And a really important thing you need to remember is to keep your hands visible when you introduce yourself. Don't hide your hands from the audience. So this means don't put your hands in your pockets and don't hide your hands beneath the table. Because when you introduce yourself, your audience needs to see your hands. If you hide your hands from them, they're going to interpret this as you 
hiding something about yourself or as you not being truthful about who you are. And that is not the kind of image you want to convey when you're doing a self introduction. So keep your hands visible at all times when you introduce yourself. Now that we have body language out of the way and you're already starting to solidify your first impression, the next thing we need to think about is how you start your introduction. There are three things you need to include at the start of your introduction, a greeting, your name and your job title. This is a perfect way to get people to know who you are and how you fit into the team. And this can be said in three sentences. For example, Hi everyone, my name is Kara Ronan. I've just been hired as the new account manager for this department. Hello, I'm Kara Ronan. I'm starting as a new account manager today. I recommend you avoid using hi guys in your introduction. This can be a little too casual for a professional context. And also many women in the audience might not appreciate being referred to as a guy. I also recommend you avoid using hi team in your first introduction. You need to build up a certain level of familiarity with your team before you start to refer to them as your team. So avoid these two phrases, hi guys and hi team in your very first introduction to your new team. So far, we have the start of our introduction where you share your greeting, your name and your job title. Next, you need to share something about your background. There are a number of things that you could share here. You can talk about your previous experience. So where was your last job? You can talk about your previous location and this is applicable if you move from a different city or a different country. You can also talk about a hobby or something interesting about you. In fact, you can talk about all three if you want. The only one of these three things that is non-negotiable is your previous experience because this is going to help you convey your competence as a professional, which loops us back to the four qualities that you want to convey during an introduction, that you are positive, that you are approachable, that you are competent and confident. So from the previous example, we have, Hi, my name is Kara Ronan. I've just been hired as a new account manager for this department. We can continue with our introduction and talk about our background like this. Previously, I worked for Coca-Cola as sales representative in the Western Sydney area, but I'm really glad that this job brought me to Melbourne because I'm very much looking forward to the amazing festivals and theatre performances that you have. Do you see how I've included all three elements of my background in this part of my introduction? I've talked about my previous experience, my previous location and my hobby or something that interests me. And just a side note that I want to mention here, if somebody else introduces you to your team and you need to continue on from what they've said, you need to make sure that you first thank them for introducing you and then you can launch into your self introduction. So to recap what we have covered so far in the introduction, we have started our introduction and we have shared some background information about ourselves. Next, you want to share something about your hopes in your new position. What are you looking forward to? What would you like to accomplish? This helps people understand more about who you are as a person and also as a professional, because when we learn about people's hopes and dreams, we feel that they're revealing an inner part of themselves to us. It's when we feel we're getting an insight into them that they wouldn't normally reveal to other people. And as co-workers in a new team, it really helps to contribute to a positive work environment if you get a deeper insight into who people are. Getting back to the example we've been working on in this video, we just finished sharing something about our background to our team with this. Previously, I worked for Coca-Cola as sales representative in the Western Sydney area, but I'm really glad that this job brought me to Melbourne because I'm very much looking forward to the amazing festivals and theatre performances that you have. Next, you're going to continue sharing your hopes and your dreams like this. One of the hopes I have in this new position is to expand our client base and to ideally sign clients from the entertainment industry. So this gives people an insight into what my hopes are for them and it also helps people understand what my expectations might be of them too. At the end of your introduction is your closing. This is where you leave your introduction on a positive note and leave a lasting first impression. Many people forget to include a closing in their introduction and they might hurry to finish and sit down while they're still talking. But I encourage you to take the time to end your introduction properly and 
fully. These are three things that you could include in the closing of your introduction. Thank your boss for the opportunity, tell people where your office or your desk is, and end with a pleasantry. Continuing on with the example we've been using in this video, this is what it could sound like. Thank you, Mr. Green, for this opportunity. I look forward to getting to know you and everyone else in our team in the coming weeks. If anyone needs to find me, my desk is in zone B over near the door. And once you've finished your closing, don't forget to pause for a couple of seconds before you sit down. So putting all of this together, this is what a full self introduction would sound like when you are introducing yourself to a new team. Hi everyone, I'm Kara Ronan. I've just been hired as a new account manager for this department. Previously, I worked for Coca-Cola as sales representative in the Western Sydney area. But I'm really glad that this job brought me to Melbourne because I'm very excited to check out the festivals and the theatre performances that you have. One of my hopes in this new role is to expand our client base and to ideally sign clients from the entertainment industry. I want to thank Mr. Green for this opportunity and for this new position. I look forward to getting to know you and everyone else in our team over the coming weeks. If anyone needs to find me, my desk is over in zone B over near the door. Thank you again and I look forward to meeting with you all. Now, if you really want to refine your overall presence and interactions at work to continue to convey the four qualities that you are positive, approachable, competent and confident, then you should watch this video up here. Thank you so much for watching this video about self introductions. I hope you got a lot of value from it. If you did like it, please hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future, and I will see you next week in another video.